Amazing. So that is an overview of our sequences. We only have like five or so minutes left. So I'm just going to quickly go through a few key ideas for earth geometry and then a few final uh, exam tips if we get quick time to really quickly. So because the earth is very close to being a sphere, we can actually mathematically calculate time zones, distances between areas and all of that kind of thing. So when you're getting an introduction to earth geometry, Think latitude and longitude, which is like that global positioning system we use. For like any point on the earth um, can be defined by where it is in relation to latitude and longitude. So think about the earth. Let's see if I have a diagram. Awesome. So think about the earth. We know it's like roughly a sphere. So in the earth, we can have great circles and small circles. Just terminology wise, great circles are a cross section where the radius is equal to that of the sphere. So pretty much the largest flat slice possible. Whereas small circles, like our blue example here, are any circle with a radius less than that of the sphere. And just to quickly illustrate, lines of latitude and again, this is a very brief introduction, so don't stress if it uh, doesn't make the most sense. But lines of latitude are small circles that run parallel to the equator. So think of this like the Earth and think about all these circles that are running all the way around the world. And then the equator is a great circle because it's like the really big circle around like the widest bit of the Earth. And then all the small circles keep running down until we get to the South Pole. The main takeaway that I want you to have from this is that these like circles, they tell you how far north a point is from the equator. So here we have the equator and we can use these circles to measure how far north a point is on any point in the earth, or we can use them to measure how far south we are from the equator. Longitude is the opposite. Longitude is how we measure how far east or west we are of uh, the prime meridian, which is like, this is just like imaginary line. It's kind of like the equator, uh, but for like up and down. So don't stress too much about that though. But the main thing I want you to take away is that latitude, we're measuring how far north or south something is from the equator, uh, to the equator. And then longitude, we're measuring how far east or west a point is. Uh, how I remember that is I think like longitude, these are our longer circles. So these are like our semi-great circles that are running all around the world. So we have zero degrees, we go around all the way around to 180 degrees east and all the way around to 180 degrees west. And you can see that illustrated here a little bit more. So again, we're thinking latitude measures how far north or south we are and longitude measures how far east or west we are. So for every point on the earth, it can be like defined by where it is in terms of latitude and longitude, like that diagram shows there. And latitude always comes first. So how far north or south it is, and then we write longitude. So how far east or west it is. How I remember that is latitude comes first alphabetically. So we put it first in the coordinate order. That's how I remember it. So it's how far north or south, and then how far east or west. Uh, again, we can talk about like the position of Brisbane, um, and all these different things. Also, uh, what you'll be looking at, at once you get more time to cover it in class is looking at earth geometry with when we're looking at the distance between points. The biggest takeaway that I want you to take away from here is that we use a different formula depending on whether they're on the same longitude or the same latitude. And what